Here we are in Canada at the Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. Named after the 1979 World Championship runner-up, but more about him later. Montreal here in Southeast Canada is where the semi-permanent circuits found. 305 kilometers is the race distance over 70 laps, 4,362 meters the length of each one. Oh yes, the wings. The cars here run a setup with very little downforce. For what we have before us is a genuine high-speed circuit. In no less than four places, the cars reach around 300 kilometers per hour. Yeah, aerodynamically, the Canadian Grand Prix is different from the other races because uh, we have long straights. So when we have long straights like this, we have to uh, run smaller rear wings on the car, which every, every team will do. The final corner, a risky one, the wall of champions. In 99, no less than three world champions came a cropper here. Damon Hill, Michael Schumacher and Jack Villeneuve. Now, a look at the circuit and its key spots. The circuit's ideally situated on Ile Notre-Dame, a man-made island in the St. Lawrence River. There are often mass collisions right after the start, as the first corner veritably invites drivers to fight tire to tire. The left-right combination gets taken at 80 km per hour. Then drivers shift up all the way into fifth gear and head off under the Pont de la Concorde. It's just generally put some great racing because he had the long straight. It's fantastic for overtaking. In order to take this 90 degree turn, the cars need to decelerate by 130 kilometers per hour within 70 meters. Then the most important part of the circuit, the long straight and subsequent Le Pang Le Hair Pin Pen. In the slipstream, cars draw up on the one in front, then arrive at top speed and break down to 55 kilometers per hour, subjecting the drivers to forces of 5G. Here, they pick an extremely tight line in order to be able to accelerate out as soon as possible onto the Droit du Casino. Just before the finish line, they reach the circuit's top speed, 316 kilometers per hour. 